So you clicked on this video thinking, what the heck is a subdomain takeover, man? Well, my friends, it's not when you go to Subway and ask to speak to their manager because they put mayonnaise on your meatball sub. You would think you could take over that sub, but you can't. Trust me, you don't want to try that either. It's actually when the almighty and all-powerful admins at Company A take their subdomain and point it to an external entity or external domain and forget to remove the C name or A record when they're no longer using that domain on that external entity, probably because they're over swamped and underpaid and underappreciated and they don't have enough PTO time and it's low on their priority list because they have so many other freaking projects to do and removing a C name or A record is not a big deal to them. Anyways, an attacker can take advantage of that situation, take that domain on that external entity, register it, and boom, meatball sub with mayonnaise takeover. So you're probably thinking to yourself, why the heck am I watching a bug bounty video in 2021 without a tutorial or demo, man? Well, my friends, I must not be in your playlist because you know I got that coming up. So let's expose some meatball. I mean... Let's expose some subdomain takeover secrets this week on the secret letters of a hacker. Cue the intro. Nice camera action. So subdomain takeovers really comes down to only doing one thing and doing one thing really well, subdomain enumeration. And really there's only two ways to go about subdomain enumeration. You can either scrape them using tools like Sublister or Subfinder or MazDNS or AMAS or anything like that. Or two, you can brute force them by using a word dictionary of let's say maybe 2 million subdomains that you have stored on your VPS. Both ways work, but let me show you my screen and what's going on and how I do it. All right, guys, so here we are on my VPS. Um, for subdomain takeovers, I like to use this script called takeover.sh that I got from GitHub. Uh, the link will be in the description for you guys. You can go about grabbing your subdomains by either scraping or brute forcing. Um, I have AMAS Asset Finder, and I also have a subdomain brute list. And if I do a word count on subdomain brute, you can see I have over 2 million subdomains listed. So I have this quick script, run through the 2 million subdomains and pipe back anything that is valid. Again, you can scrape or you can brute force your subdomains, however you want to get your subdomains. And then I use takeover.sh. So let me show you that. I ran it against a public bounty program. As you can see that it resolved some aliases for us. So this is an alias for this subdomain here. However, as you look through these, there are no external um, let me run through. I actually didn't go through these. So this one. So here is a good example, guys. This subdomain right here is an alias for this external domain. So if I grab it, come over here, we do a host dash T C name and we look it up you can see that this subdomain at mail.ru is an alias for this domain name here so let me grab that and if I do if I do a host on it oh, get rid of the period you can see that this resolves to this address now what that tells us is even though this subdomain is an alias for this address here, it's still registered. Now, if it said something like not found or invalid or something like that, that it can't resolve it, then we might have some 
something good on our hands, um, we might be able to exploit that into a subdomain takeover. For example, um, if I add an extra character in here, it's not going to resolve. This is what we're looking for. This subdomain here, not found. Now, if this was an accurate subdomain, we might be able to then register this subdomain because it points back to this subdomain at mail ru, which is an alias. But since I added an extra letter, it's not actually a valid subdomain. I just wanted to show you what we're looking for. We're looking for not found means that it's been removed, but it would still be active if it was an alias. So I hope that makes sense to you guys. Uh, good luck out there on your hunt. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments section. You know where to find me on Discord. Give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.